Wow, okay. A bunch of people want Wind Archer. Let's do it. Wind Archer is one of the better Cygnus Knights that didn't get too terribly changed in the big Ignition overhaul slash rework, being pretty fun with overall decent damage, and fairly simple to both understand and play. Though seemingly frail on the surface with lower health and a bossing skill that locks them in place, through and through they aren't too dissimilar from Bowmaster in terms of most of their functions really. Also, apologies in advance for how the skills look in this video. As of the time making this, Nexon suddenly changed how the in-game fonts look, with no prior notice, so things are going to look a little different. First job changes the standard Cygnus Knight flash jump into a more green, wind-themed one, and even gives you another mobility skill, Wind Walk. All it does is move you horizontally straight forward, slowing down near the end of its max distance in the air, or at the end of a platform if used on the ground. You can also use it after any of your jumps for extra range, or even keep spamming it back and forth to stall yourself in the air for a little bit of time. You also get one singular passive, this toggle that gives you a little extra damage, and a basic mobbing attack. Second job gives these four passives. This one, Sylvanade, makes it so you never consume arrows ever again, which is incredibly nice. You also get another toggle, Trifling Wind, which is a core part of Wind Archer's whole kit. When you attack with most of your attacks, you have a chance to send out these little crystal soul energy arrow things that simply attack enemies, as the skill says, at random. If used while bossing, it always includes the boss with the highest max health, as long as they're in range. It also has a lower chance of creating stronger ones that are purple-pinkish instead of green. Not much else here at second job, just this knockback mobbing skill, and another non-knockback mobbing skill. Third job is pretty similar to second jobs in terms of content. More useful passives, an upgrade to trifling wind, and this cool summon, Emerald Flower, that takes enemy aggro off of you and onto it instead. It lasts for a minute, has its own health bar, and slows all enemies that go towards it. If its duration is about to end or it's about to break, you can just keep resummoning it since it has no cooldown. Lastly, Sentient Arrow attacks around you and Pinpoint Pierce debuffs enemies hit by it that increases your damage and IED by 15% each for a whole minute. Pretty useful debuff and bossing. Fourth job, Maple Warrior, Heroes Will. Yep, anyways. Fourth job gives all these passives, including another upgrade to Trifling Wind, and this one that beefs up your Emerald Flower to double the health, and now reduces enemy IED and damage intake minus 20%, which I'm not 100% clear on. I asked about this in the Wind Archer Discord, and they said it means the crystal itself takes 20% less damage, so I'm trusting their word over mine. Fourth job also gives the world-class, world-famous, world-renowned Sharp Eyes, which buffs you and your entire party for extra crit rate and crit damage, as well as this non-party buff that gives you a chance to make bigger arrows fly out of you that do more damage. Fairy Spiral is your main mobbing skill, attacking everything in front of you and knocking them back. You can spam it as much as you want, and also use it in the air. Lastly, in stark contrast to Fairy Spiral, Song of Heaven is your main bossing skill slash hurricane skill you hold down to use, and you have no mobility with it at all. It can only be used on the ground, you can't move around with it, can't jump with it, you're firmly in place for as long as you hold it down. The only reason I can think of why it's like this is because it hits rapidly and procs all your passive chance to summon arrow skills pretty often, so you're just making things fly around the screen constantly. It does pretty good damage too. Hyper skills start you off pretty strong with Monsoon, which is simply just a giant AoE attack that also debuffs enemies, 30 second cooldown. Glory of the Guardians is the Cygnus equivalent to Epic Adventure, 10% damage for you and all Cygnus Knights in your party, 1 minute uptime, 2 minute cooldown. And your third hyper skill is Storm Whim, which makes even more stronger arrows fly out of you at a 30% chance, 2 minute cooldown. When it comes to hyper passives, for both grinding and bossing, get everything for trifling wind, reinforce for extra damage, enhance for extra activation chance, and double chance for a chance to have double the amount of wins per activation as well as them able to hit enemies twice. They'll always be out with every attack, always flying around, as long as you have it toggled on, and it's just free damage. For the last two, if you plan to focus primarily on bossing, you'll want to get Song of Heaven Reinforce and Boss Rush, because that's your main bossing skill. If you plan on grinding and or don't want to focus on bossing just yet, you could get Fairy Spiral Spread and Extra Strike. More enemies hit and an extra line of damage to help clear the mobs out a bit quicker. Fifth job is chock full of short cooldown skills that all do pretty cool things. 
Howling Gale is an attack that builds up one charge every 20 seconds, up to three maximum charges. Clicking the skill sends out a big tornado for 10 seconds that tears through everything in its path. You can only have one tornado out at a time, so clicking the skill multiple times just resets the one tornado. If you hold down and click the skill, it sends out a much bigger tornado that does way more damage at the cost of using two charges instead of one. If you hold up and click the skill, it sends out two huge gales, both the same size that vary slightly in damage. The first one does the same damage as the two charge one, but the second one does about half that. You can also right click the skill so it doesn't slow down when it comes in contact with enemies. Merciless Winds makes a bunch of arrows, or wind spirits, around you that fly out at enemies, much like how Trifling Wind functions. It's pretty much an on-demand Trifling Wind. If it hits the same enemy more than once, it reduces each subsequent hit by 15%, 10 second cooldown. Vortex Spear shoots a truly haunting ghastly green ball straight forward that sucks in enemies it passes by and does damage to them. In bosses, this skill automatically slows down when it collides with a boss, 30 second cooldown. Gale Barrier is an oddity of a skill that lasts for 45 seconds, that gives you a shield with essentially 300% extra health that doesn't show up on your health bar. It does, however, kind of show up on the skill itself in your quick slots, your skill window, and your buff bar. The more damage you take, the smaller the number gets, meaning your shield is weakening. It also has an additional effect that shoots out whirlwinds when you attack. Woohoo! More things flying out of you! If it hits the same enemy more than once, each subsequent hit reduces damage by 50%. 90 second cooldown. For other useful trinodes, all Cygnus Knights share these two. Empress Cygnus's Blessing builds up one charge every four minutes, up to two charges, and it increases your damage and heals you periodically for 45 seconds. Phalanx Charge sends a bunch of Spearman friends forward, dealing damage to all enemies in their path. Click the skill again while they're out to reverse their direction. They go away once they hit a certain number of times, or reach the end of their range slash duration. 30 second cooldown. These last two are great for all Archer classes, and I believe they all get these too. Guided Arrow is a toggle that summons an arrow behind your back. When you're in combat and attack enemies, it flies out, dealing damage to everything it flies through. No cooldown, does more damage to normal enemies, it's just free damage and more stuff flying around the map from you. <laughs> there is no reason to not have this on in present at all times, for everything you do. Lastly, Vicious Shot lets your crit rate increase beyond 100%, and converts a chunk of all your crit rate into crit damage for 30 seconds. 2 minute cooldown. Wind Archer isn't even all that deep or complicated, so here's how to make them easy. Most of your toggles and buffs are just extra arrows with every hit, so remember to keep them up and active as much as you can. While grinding, it helps to lock Howling Gale, so it passes right through enemies, and keeps hitting everything else for its duration, rather than have it snag on one enemy it doesn't immediately one-shot. Though remember to unlock it while bossing, so it does snag on the boss and keep hitting them multiple times. Speaking of Howling Gale, you'll want to primarily use the single charge version while grinding. The double charge version is good too, especially since its vertical hitbox goes up much higher than the single charge. The full triple charge version does way more damage, but it uses up all your charges for the same duration, and all the damage would be overkill for just grinding in most cases, so it's not really useful for grinding. However, the triple charge is super useful in bossing, being a main part of your main burst rotation. Emerald Flower is useful for multiple things, especially in bossing, as a way to get the boss off of you occasionally, and lowering their IED. Yeah, it works on bosses. It even slows them, too. And even sometimes their elements, like Damien's Blue Balls in Part 2. The slow also counts as a debuff. When you're stuck on the ground and need to get out of harm's way, don't forget you can still use Wind Walk. Some bosses make it so you can't jump, so it sometimes helps to remember you're not helpless without your flash jump available. For bossing, using your Gale Barrier won't prevent all one-shots, but does help reduce a lot of damage from most one-shots, for a hit or two. Also, all you really do in bossing is pop everything you got and hold down Song of Heaven in a safe spot, letting all those everythings that fly out of you zero in on the boss. For grinding, just jump around using Fairy Spiral and cycle around all your cooldown skills, remembering to use the normal one-charge Howling Gale whenever it isn't currently out. You could also grind with Song of Heaven and have all your arrows destroy everything in the map, though it's a lot more effective on reg server with a totem active apparently. This is because there's always something to hit, so your song will be proccing way more often. It also helps to choose a smaller, more compact map, because your projectiles won't fly out that far across the map. 
There are some arrows that have more attack than others, but the best in slot one you can get would be the titanium arrow for bow, which is crafted from a recipe and gives 9 extra attack. These mobs drop the recipe, and they aren't too hard to craft, since you also don't run out of arrows ever anymore. Crafting them once is all you'll ever need, and you can even bring just one of these arrows over to a bowmaster and be done with best in slot arrows for them too. Wind Archer is kind of a class that benefits from a cooldown hat, with certain caveats. Getting a minus 4 second hat is optimal for both grinding and bossing, lowering a bunch of your cooldowns across all your skills, including your 5th job skills, and getting a minus 2 second hat is still technically useful for at least grinding, since it almost syncs up your merciless wins with respawn timers. Though it still gets outperformed in bossing by a normal main stat hat with 30% dex or higher, also, since Howling Gale is a charge-up skill, rather than a skill with a cooldown, these hat lines don't affect it at all. It's 20 seconds per charge, forever. For inner ability, you'll want boss damage first line, and crit rate and abnormal status damage second and third lines. Apparently, Mace or Drop Rate is a good line too if you plan on farming frequently with Wind Archer, but that's true for every class. While archers normally get naturally high crit rate, the extra crit rate in her ability is useful specifically for Vicious Shot, because it converts that to crit damage. You don't need cooldown skip because most of your skills on a cooldown are at 5th job which can't be skipped, and you can also safely ignore attack speed plus 1, since you're a hurricane class, which doesn't attack faster with more speed. You don't have much in your kit that gets boosted from extra attack speed, aside from maybe Fairy Spiral, I don't even think that's true but that's not going to help much in the long run if it did. Link skills are just about the same as all other classes. For grinding, Evan, Mercedes, and Aran are all helpful for extra XP, and Lara for extra normal enemy damage. And for bossing, the usual looking something like this. The Wind Archer Discord specifies the last two slots you swap around, depending on situational bosses, cycling around things like Resistance Link, Warrior Link, or opting for more damage links if survivability isn't an issue for you. For Trinodes, Wind Archer is one of those classes that optimally uses a mix of three different ones to max out four of their skills and have one extra one that's somewhat useful. These nodes are any mix of two Song of Heavens, two Trifling Winds, two Stormbringers, two Fairy Spirals, and one Monsoon. If you plan on maining this class, you can get away with any nodes that contain a combined total of these, but more specifically, if you wanted the quote-unquote perfect Trinodes, they'd be Song of Heaven, Trifling Wind, and Stormbringer for the first, Trifling Wind, Stormbringer, and Fairy Spiral for the second, and Fairy Spiral, Song of Heaven, and Monsoon for the third. If you're just playing Wind Archer as a boss mule, you can get away with just having two of the first perfect Trinode. For Burst slash BA, make sure you have everything toggled on, then simply buff up, pop Empress Cygnus's Blessing, Glory of the Guardians, Gale Barrier, and Storm Whim. Then Vicious Shot, AB Link, 3 Howling Gales by pressing up in the skill key, Vortex Sphere, Phalanx Charge, Merciless Winds, Hold Down Song of Heaven, and pop Howling Gale one more time once another one charges for optimal maximum damage output. Shorten down further, Toggles, all of your buffs, Vicious Shot, AB Link, 3 Charge Howling Gale, Hold down Song of Heaven, use Gale again when it builds up one more charge. Wind Archer's burst is similar to Bowmaster in that all you really do is pop all your buffs and toggles and hold down one button. Extremely simple, not much else to them. Wind Archer all around isn't too bad of a class, with their few downsides being positioning and bossing, and their health being on the much lower end of most classes in the game. Even then, they're still a really cool class if you wanted something mostly basic that looked really pretty. I've always loved all their trifling wins and other projectiles just flooding the screen with colors flying everywhere. Thanks for watching as always, and thanks to the Wind Archer Discord for existing and answering my one question about Emerald Flower's fourth job upgrade, and also just covering this class extremely simply and clearly. If there's any other classes you want me to cover, leave me some suggestions down in the comments. That's why I did Wind Archer. I enjoyed coming back to them for both trying to make a guide on them and to make a new look for. It's not the best look, but hey, her name's Bow Ribbons, and now she has a big ol' ribbon and bow floating around her, so it's thematic. That's all.